Uh, Robert, would you lead us in the pledge, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, Scotty, would you please lead us in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for this community, Lord. We thank you for this county. And we thank you for this opportunity to serve. Uh, Lord, as we go into this Christmas season, we just thank you for your son and the true meaning of Christmas. Lord, as we sit at this table, we just pray for wisdom and guidance that we're doing what's best for the citizens of this county. We give you all the praise and glory in your holy name. Amen. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. We will now open our meeting for uh, December 2nd. Uh, the Board of Soda County Commissioners. There, I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go. And, uh, that's right. Okay. <coughs> All right. We uh, would like to open the meeting with uh, approving the minutes of November 23rd. Um, would someone like to make a motion to do so, please? Make a motion to approve the meeting minutes of November 23rd. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of request for appropriation of funds. Any questions or comments in regards to the uh, appropriation request? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of request for appropriation transfer of funds. Any questions or comments in regards to item three? <clears throat> Hearing none. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of accepting me meeting minutes. Any questions or comments in regards to um, the meeting minutes? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. I'll second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of resolution congratulating Cheryl Swick on her retirement from Soda County Job and Family Services. Items five and six are two resolutions where we're going to be doing resolutions for two outstanding employees in our Job and Family Services Department. Item five is uh, congratulating Cheryl Swick for her over 30 years, I think right around 31 years of service to Scioto County and the citizens of Scioto County. Are there any questions or comments in regards to that resolution? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to adopt. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of resolution congratulating Mike Warner on his retirement from Scioto County Job and Family Services. Uh, another great employee of Job and Family Services is retiring. That being Mike Warner. Uh, Mike served Soda County in multiple uh, capacities, uh, not only as a, uh, a deputy uh, sheriff, but also in the prosecutor's office, the Soda County uh, Commissioner's Maintenance Department, as well as now having been over at Job Family Services for several years. Are there any questions or comments in regards to the resolution to honor Mike? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to adopt. I'll second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of request for fund transfers. Questions or comments in regards to item seven? Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of accepting miscellaneous reports. Any questions or comments in regards to item eight? Hearing none. Motion to accept. I'll second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. <clears throat> in the matter of accepting amended certificate from the Budget Commission. Questions or comments in regards to item nine? Hearing none. Make a motion to accept. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of approving payment of the regular schedule of accounts for the various funds, moral obligations, and then and now certificates in the total amount of $1,066,211.92. Questions or comments in regards to item 10? Hearing none. Make a motion to accept or approve. I'll second. 
Ms. Cohen? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. All right, uh, Ms. Coleman, would you have anything in addition? Are you going to make that public service announcement for Tammy Moore? Yes. Yes. Um, very important public service announcement. We did put it on the Facebook page yesterday. Um, and this is in regards to the Scioto County Department of Job and Family Services. The Ohio Benefits System will be down Friday, December 3rd. That is tomorrow. Uh, it will be unavailable on that day due to major software upgrades. The county staff will have no access to any SNAP, TANF, Medicaid, or long-term care cases during this time. This also includes the self-service portal, which will also be down. Customers will not be able to upload documents or apply online during the outage time. If you have questions about your case, please contact Job and Family Services on Monday, December the 6th, that's this coming Monday, after 8 a.m. However, if you need to apply, recertify, or renew your benefits for cash, food, or medical assistance during the outage, you can submit a paper application at the Job and Family Services office. That's at 710 Court Street here in Portsmouth. Please note, the paper application will not be processed until the system is back online on Monday. If you need food while the system is unavailable, please contact a local food pantry. The Child Support Enforcement Agency, Adult Protective Services, and Gas Voucher Programs will not be affected by this outage. Again, Child Support Enforcement Agency, Adult Protective Services, and the Gas Voucher Programs will not be affected by this outage, and they apologize for any inconvenience. Thank you. All right, anything else? Just want to remind everyone, um, we are having our annual tree lighting um, program today. It starts at 3.30. Mrs. Tiemann from West and her choir will be um, entertaining us today. And we have refreshments for everyone. So if you're in the area, I, I hope you all stop in. It's gonna be uh, lovely. All right, okay. And uh, Mr. Powell. Uh, clearly we are in the holiday season. Um, there are a lot, a lot of organizations celebrating uh, the season. So get out there and support them. Winterfest is in full swing. Of course, the Christmas caves, I know you guys have been very busy. Maybe you can give us an update of those numbers. Um, Glow, uh, Growing Lucasville Opportunities had their tree lighting. Uh, looked like they had a great crowd. I know there's a Christmas parade in South Webster on Saturday. Otway Covered Bridge will be lit up um, coming this weekend. Um, Cyotaville's having their Christmas parade. Um, everything Main Street Portsmouth is doing. Um, it, and, and you know, I'm all over the state and I see more um, decorations and more holiday cheer in this mm -hmm. county. I truly do, and I'm not just saying that. I, right. You know, um, than anywhere else. So many different groups doing different things to celebrate the season. Um, of course, Portsmouth Little Theater, um, their outside looks great right now. They have their Christmas play going on, Cirque to Arts doing some stuff. So. Um, this holiday season, support the local organizations that are truly um, making this feel like a, well, I mean, Portsmouth is a hallmark town, right? So right. Um, get up there and support those. Great. So I have. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, yeah, in addition to that, you know, I really think, and, and you know, you brought this up last, this past week, you know, we, we really need to consider doing a resolution calling Soda County, Ohio's Christmas County. I think we've come a long way, baby, and I think a lot of good things are happening. And uh, a lot of people are really putting a lot of effort into this. We have uh, several major events that go on. Uh, you mentioned Christmas Cave. We've had uh, nearly 10,000 people in four nights uh, visit the caves, and these people are from all around the United States and the world. Uh, we actually had a visitor from Nepal come, <laughs> a family actually from Nepal. Uh, so. Uh, there is a lot of people coming into our county to see the lights, to see the uh, Christmas cheer, and uh, it's definitely it's definitely here. Um, didn't mean to rhyme there, but it just came out that way. <laughs> you can't help but do it, you know, with uh, Dr. Seuss, but you know, being such an integral part of what we do here. Uh, but anyways, no, it's a uh, it's a good thing, and uh, I, I fully support that. So whoever wants to lead the charge on that resolution, um, yeah, that right. would be wonderful to do next week. Uh, which uh, next week's meeting will be on Tuesday. I think it's a good time to remind everybody of that. 
uh, we will be meeting next Tuesday because uh, we will be away at training at the end of next week. So uh, with that, um, uh, wonderful, wonderful um, uh, opportunity. And I wanted to add the watch has their oh, open yeah. house and event yeah. this weekend. I mean, I'm probably forgetting something. Oh, yeah. And yeah, if I am, was, I, I apologize. Well, I mean, we just had to, um, you know, the Christmas gift to Portsmouth, uh, James Spinotti and what yeah. they just did down at Vermont Center. There are so many things going on. Uh, Winterfest, of course, is starting to gear up and, yep. and that'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, uh, the tour of churches. Tour of churches. Tour of churches. Wow. Tour of lofts. Yeah, tour of lofts. <laughs> there's, yep. there's so many things Cookie going on. Cookie crawls this weekend. Oh, uh, yeah. So there, there's a ton of things going on. So all you have to do is get on Facebook or, or get on the community calendar. I know uh, local happenings probably have, have a lot of that stuff out there. Yep. Get on there, check it out, listen to the radio, watch the, watch the newspaper. Um, I'm sure that you'll be able to find something to do in, in this community. All yep. right. So. Uh, I think the cinema is even doing a bunch of Christmas movies. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. You could go and watch. It's like a matinee. You can watch a bunch of them at the same time or in, you know, yeah. one right after another. So a lot of things happening. So <laughs> hopefully uh, everybody will take advantage of those things. Um, I do want to mention one other thing, and uh, our hearts are heavy today. Um, um, I, I know for all of us uh, that knew Mike Crabtree, um, that uh, a year ago today was a very hard day and the days since and uh, our heartfelt prayers go out to the Crabtree family uh, all of his friends of course on the anniversary of my Crabtree's death um, it's hard to believe it's been a year um, but I just wanted to say that and, and our prayers go out to especially to Diana his wife and children and, and uh, their entire family and we just need to keep them in our prayers at this time. And uh, you, you have support. Uh, we love you and we appreciate what Mike did for our county all the years that he served. And uh, we know that um, nobody serves without a strong support group behind them. And so that, for that, we thank each and every one of you uh, for what you've done um, to make him successful, which made us successful. So. Uh, our prayers go out to you and, and, and our, our best wishes for a Merry Christmas and uh, a Happy New Year. God bless. Okay, with that, we need to move forward. Uh, we will do letters after we adjourn, or actually we will be recessing because we have executive session going up. We'll do the letters after that. Okay. They always like, we'll stay on air to do it, but they always like us to do the letters outside of the actual minutes because it's a lot to type so uh, we'll do that here in just a second is there are there any questions from the the press go right ahead uh robbie mckinney says anywhere to consider putting a splash pad or something inside of it for the kids um i i'll, I'll start i guess with that um is is there a place is that what he said or is there a, a plan or is there, is there uh it's worded any ways to consider Well, uh, one thing that's really important is in order for us to apply for grant monies to do it, we have to own the land. Uh, the county doesn't own that city. That's a city property. Um, if the city wanted to put a splash pad in, they would apply for grants and or just appropriate it and, and build it. Um, I don't know of any plans to do that yet. Um, so it, it, that would be more of a question for the city since Sodaville is within the city. Um, the incorporated part of the city. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to answer it beyond that. Um, if, if it was my preference, every community would have one. So <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> so, uh, but I understand, you know, we, we have the one on the, uh, this side of the western side of the county, mainly because it's on county property. We, we only own so much land and uh, you have to own the land in order to apply for the grants. So. Uh, it's a great question, though, and uh, maybe one that, that he could lead the charge and talk to his, his city councilman, Dennis Packard. Uh, I'm sure Dennis would support something like that right now if that was something that they could get grants for to build. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Anything from the public at this time? All right. Okay. So could we get a motion to recess? I'll make a motion to recess. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. 
Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Okay. All right. One of the things we've been doing here uh, recently, and we're going to stay on live here, is uh, we announced, and people took us up on it, uh, letters to Santa. There is a mailbox lit up. You can't miss it. It's down in the lobby. And uh, we've done this for several years now, uh, Commissioner Coleman. I, I don't know how many it's been. I've been here five. Okay. And we've done it every year, right? So I think it, it's probably six or seven we've done this. Um, and what we do is, is, is we uh, solicit, ask children if they would like to, to write letters to Santa. Uh, we, we know him, you know, we're very close to him actually. And uh, we, we know we can get it to him. We, we can apply a little bit of pressure maybe, you know, and make sure that all the kids' wishes come true and do what we can on our part. But they put their letters in there or they can mail them to us. Now, several uh, may want to mail them to us on our Facebook page. It has the uh, address and everything. It has to take care of letters to Santa. Um, it's to the commissioner's office. And uh, we read those letters here. And uh, we're, we're, we're excited to be able to do that. We, uh, we love to be able to be part of this. I don't know about you. I remember when I was a kid, True Value to Toy Town, you'd have your letters read over the, the radio and you would literally sit there for an hour waiting for your letter to be read. Uh, because if your letter didn't get read, you know. How to stand up. Yeah, I mean, it's very important. So, so we need to get this done. And then what we can do is we can take the letter and we forward it to Santa with our comments, you know, and, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Um, pretty successful, pretty successful. So this is for the young people. Uh, who would like to go first? Well, Ladies I, first. I, I, go first. I have a letter addressed to Santa from Isaiah Zorns. And um, Isaiah is right down the street from my sister and my niece. And I know him. He actually was the third place winner down at the, for the bicycle down at the. Oh, really? Oh, oh at the bump track? Yes. Okay. For, okay. For the best one for candy? Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> I, I, so I could definitely nice. relate to him. I really could. Yes. I, I felt that. <laughs> oh, this is a really proper letter. He's got the date on there that he wrote it and everything. Oh, wow. Dear Santa, well, this is my Christmas list. Hmm. <laughs> Among us for switch. Among us. Among us. Yep. Among us. Yeah. Okay. See these. Uh, are He's got young kids with children. That yes. Exactly Among what us mine aren't old enough yeah. yet to do that. So okay. my grandchildren. So yeah. Among us for switch. Yep. A PlayStation Four with games. A cell phone. Wow. Mm -hmm. Venom, Let There Be Carnage DVD. It's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Love, Isaiah Zorn. All right. That sounds That's great. Okay. okay. You want to go next? Yes, I have a letter from Jocelyn Lewis. Uh, Dear Santa, for Christmas this year, I would like LOL OMG dolls, uh, Maui and Moana dolls, uh, a Bluey play set. Bluey. Bluey. Big. Um, Switch Joy-Cons. It looks like Jocelyn needs new controllers. Um, sketchbook. Um, there's a couple here that I can't make out, but I'm sure Santa has better eyesight than me. And then a snow globe. So very good list there, Jocelyn Lewis. Yeah, I think Santa has a translator. Yeah. He, he has a built-in translator. I mean, the guy, the guy's got all the fancy gadgets. So. He does. Yep. He does. So thank you, Jocelyn. Yes. We'll make sure Santa gets that. Absolutely. So this next one, I look look at this. Now, to Santa. red, that's red crayon. Mm -hmm. So that's bonus points, all right? Mm -hmm. It's red, it's Christmas collar. So uh, this is from, I think it's Emma, is it Ray Graham? Emma Rowe Graham? It's Emma Graham, that's for sure. I think, I think I've got that part right. So dear Santa, my name is Emma and I am five years old. I started kindergarten this year and with the sickness, most of it has been online. It's been hard and I miss my friends, but my mommy has helped me a bunch and we've had lots of fun. I've been a good girl and helpful with my little brother. This year I'd like Barbies or a doll. I also need a new bike as I've, got, I've, as I've outgrown mine. And I'd like some sugar-free chewing gum if you have that too. <laughs> I like that. We have a new dog. So make sure you watch out for her. Safe travels, and I'll leave milk and cookies. Love, Emma. Oh, very good. Sweet. That's a sweet letter. 
All right. Uh, my second letter is from Eli Bennett. And Eli's only two, so they made it look easy. It's, it's a, you know, you just fill in the blanks and mommy helped him. So, and he, he did sign his name in crayon, mm -hmm. red crayon. So, oh, okay. All right. Hello, my name is Eli Bennett and I am two years old. I live in Memphis, Ohio. I have been very good this year and have been thinking of what I would like for Christmas. First on the list, trucks. Second on the list, tractors. And last, toys. It's got the three T's. Three T's. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. Yeah. I'm very excited <laughs> for your visit and will leave out some snacks for you and your reindeer. Love, Eli. Santa's going to do all right this year. Yeah. Everybody's leaving snacks. Everybody's, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Go right ahead. All right. I have a form letter as well. This, uh, that's fancy. Yeah. It makes, bonus it points makes our too. job much easier. Santa's yes. job much easier. So we appreciate that. Uh, from Evan Bennett. Uh, Dear Santa, hello. My name is Evan Bennett and I am four years old. I live in Memphis, Ohio. I've been very good this year and have been thinking of what I would like for Christmas. Number one, a weed eater. Number two, a leaf blower. And number three, trucks, cars, and tractors. I am very excited for your visit and will leave out some snacks for you and your reindeer. It sounds like Evan is going to be starting a business out there in Memphis. <laughs> Uh, so if you need help with your lawn care, lawn care business. Um, Evan's getting started early at the age of four. Been at lawn care, right I can see it now. I can yeah, see it. Yeah, very okay, good, awesome. Evan. Very good. <laughs> There'll be a little Pike's truck with a weed yeah. eater and a leaf right. blower on the back of it, and, and it'll have a little sign on the side. We're all about Bennett economic development. Robert, yes, right here. job creation yes. right here. I love this. This is entrepreneurship. We love it. <laughs> All right, this next one is from Joey Waters. Joey lives down on, on Broadway Street, down at, in uh, Portsmouth. And uh, he has, I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's pretty awesome. Santa Claus, North Pole, yep. has the address. Green and red stars. For postage. For postage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah. I mean, he's got it figured out. Uh, hi, Santa, my name is Joey Waters. I want a big, giant Batman set, capital letters plus figures, and a Batmobile, and a monster truck. So uh, thank you, Joey Waters. He said thank you. That's, that's bonus, too. And you say thank you. Please and thank you are the magic words. We learned that, right? So Joey, thank you. And uh, we will make sure that Santa Claus, everyone, make sure that Santa Claus gets these letters. And uh, we'll be forwarding those to him. And uh, uh, next, next Tuesday when we meet, we'll, we will be having a guest. Oh. There will be a guest here, and uh, everybody needs to tune in. Even if you've had your letters read, uh, you really need to tune in because you just never know who's going to show up. Right. And uh, so you know, definitely need to do that. So show up or tune in around 930 uh, next week, and uh, you just never know. So, And then also, just to remind everybody, these can be watched and viewed at any time uh, after this meeting, any time, day or night. Uh, you can show these and, review, and go over these with your children. Uh, maybe right before you go to bed or whatever, they can they can know that their letters were read for Santa, and we'll we'll pass those on. Anything before we? Uh, just reminders to all the children: be be good. Mm. Santa's coming. Be oh, kind. Yeah. And uh, I know it's a long wait, but he'll be here. Absolutely, and you never know who's watching. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anything? Else? No. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and. Uh, we are we are uh, recessed and we have executive session at 10, 10 30. thank you we're going to enter into executive session at this time uh, we, huh reconvene. yes uh, we need to reconvene would there be a motion to reconvene i'll make a motion to reconvene i'll second mr powell aye Ms. coleman aye Mr. Davis. Aye. And could we get a motion to enter into executive session? I will make a motion to enter into um, executive session to discuss pending litigation with legal counsel per ORC 121.22 G3. And I have a second. Ms. Coleman. Aye. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. Thank you very much. We'll be back as soon as possible. executive session is that what we're doing first yep i'll second 
Did you make a motion? No, we're still red. No, we're live. Oh, we're okay. live now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, red means we're on. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, Makes motion. sense, then. Yes. Motion to leave executive session. Oh, Scotty? I, I will second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Okay. That is uh, 11.40. Okay. Uh, while in executive session, a meeting with our council, which I appreciate um, everything that you've done and, and our council's done. And, um, the, the main topic uh, that we discussed was in regards to the Janssen, Johnson & Johnson settlement offer that's on the table. Um, and we, we discussed this with our legal counsel. Um, and at this time, um, uh, we would like to go ahead and, and vote on accepting or not accepting the, the actual settlement that's on the table. Uh, so with that, uh, would we have a motion from the board uh, in regards to uh, the proposed settlement agreement? Yeah, and I'll, I'll make the motion, but before we do that, I just wanna add, you know, as we're looking at these different pieces of the opioid settlements and the different players in the, the opioid epidemic, um, it's very nuanced and learning a lot about who did what and when. And, you know, Janssen specifically is a manufacturer. Uh, so how, kind of how I view it from my vantage point, they're, they're a little different than the people that marketed and, and pushed distributed. and distributed uh, these pills down into our community. Did they create them? Sure they did. And, and I think they have some liability, uh, which is, why they're willing to settle but at the same time um, I know we said no to the big three you know the distributors the people that truly I believe uh, did the most damage to the community and in, in this case um, this is you know the manufacturers the people that have benefited from you know making the meds so um, but with that I mean so I, I will be making a motion to approve the settlement um, because it is nuanced and I think people need to know that because we hear opioid settlement and we kind of put everything in the same box and it's it's not you know as we're talking with our, our council and i appreciate all the information they're able to provide us um the great information um it's very nuanced and and these decisions i i think are also nuanced and can't be taken as a a broad stroke um so with that i, I will make the motion that we accept the settlement a second mr powell aye Ms. coleman aye Mr. Davis. Aye. Okay. Oh, and did you give Brian the authority to sign we can mix. I was going to bring that up, make it a separate sure. motion, if you would. Uh, I'll make the motion uh, for uh, Brian to sign the, the settlement. It's just the part participation agreement um, uh, on behalf of the board. I'll second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Ms. Coleman. Aye. Mr. Davis. Uh, and, and on further details, I'll, I'll go ahead and read these numbers out. I think the press will probably want to know what this looks like. Now, this is totally contingent upon participation levels. There's a, a certain number, uh, and I'll give these numbers to you, but it, it, I would say that it is subject to change depending on, on participation. I, I, I with this, we're probably at 70%. Yes, now, now with, this, with us opting in, um, a 70% number for Scioto County uh, would be three hundred and six thousand um, dollars. I think that was the number in that excess. was thrown out. In excess of three hundred six thousand uh, dollars, and then there's also monies that will go into the region that will be made available for us to petition for at a later date. Hundred percent participation takes us to four hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars. Just to give you an idea, um, you know that that what that would take was that would take for all of the litigating participants to opt in. So in it's early in Ohio and it is early. Um, we have, uh, everybody has until December 7th, I believe, which is next Tuesday to opt in. So there's still some time and there's still entities having meetings. So uh, we'll know at a later date as far as what that is. Um, so uh, this is a decision that this board has made at this time. Uh, for this particular litigant, um, this particular case, and um, 
and there will be many more in the future, it sounds like. so. Well, and, and I think it's probably important to note that, you know, in terms of the big three case, Sorry. it is still very much ongoing. Um, we're still very much moving forward with that, uh, with that case and our day in court. Um, I know people ask, hey, you turned it down, now what? Um, you know, we have different orders that we're following that, um, and, and deadlines we have to meet to get that information uh, to our council. So we're actively working on all that. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we, we, we move forward. Yeah, battle's not over. Uh, in many ways, that battle has just begun. Yeah. So it's just shifted now into a different realm and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, um, with that, is there a motion to adjourn? adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. And I'll second. Okay. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice weekend.